Coming up, highlights from last week's Chapman Athletics. A new group for students to show some school spirit. And our Athlete of the Week. Watch out, you're about to get hit with tons of sports info. I'm Allie Friedman. And I'm Wes Rappaport. And this is Panthers in Action. The men's basketball team recently took on the Gauchos of UC Santa Barbara in their first official game of the season. Uh, the Panthers were able to keep it close, down 34-22 at the half, with help from senior guard Brandon Lynn, who led the team with 11 points. But the Gauchos' offense proved to be too much, breaking it open at the half and going on to win 74-48. The Chapman football team ended the season on Saturday with a home matchup against number 13 ranked University of Redlands. It was a very close game with Chapman down just two points at the half thanks to a last second 32 yard field goal from Chapman kicker Mauricio Alfonso. Redlands up at the half 12 to 10 with three minutes left in the game and down by six the Panthers were able to drive all the way down to the Redlands 13 yard line in just five plays. On fourth down the Panthers were unable to convert leading to a heartbreak season ending loss for the Chapman Panthers. Junior Kellen Matsuno led Chapman with eight tackles, and quarterback Brett Basiglia led the offensive attack with 303 passing yards. The loss ends the Panthers' season with a 4 and 5 record. The men's and women's cross country teams travel to Claremont for the NCAA Division III regional race. As a team, the men placed 18th overall, and leading the Panthers was freshman Spencer Berry with Chad King not far behind on the men's side. And leading the women's side for the Panthers, sophomore Paulette Garcia and freshman Lisa Paterkin. This past Saturday, the men's and women's swim and dive team traveled to Redlands to compete in the Redlands Pentathlon. The swim team's next meet is December 3rd against Cal Baptist and Viola. Chapman has a new club on campus that's hauling in the spirit. The Panther Prowl was created this semester with the hopes of getting students pumped up for Chapman Athletics. But this past Saturday, the club hoped to prove just how much spirit the Panther Pack could have with their Spirit Day event to support the last football game of the season. The event included face painting, games, poster making, and a noise maker station before the game to get the crowd ready. Chapman's cheer squad and pet band were also on the scene to help hype up the crowd even more. The newly founded Panther Pack has started promoting pride for Chapman Athletics in previous games, including the football team's November 5th contest, at which they gave out free Panther Pack t-shirts to the crowd and free milkshakes at Ruby's Diner after the game. The Panther Pack hopes to continue this spirit throughout the years, promoting their motto, if you're a Panther, you're in the pack. Kali'i Kunitobo is this week's Chapman Athlete of the Week. With an impressive first season with Panther football, he ended the season with a career high, 153 yards receiving on seven catches and a 19-13 loss against the number 14 Redlands. The junior averaged 21.8 yards per catch in the game along with 47 yards. Last week's game marked the 11th time a Chapman receiver has had 150 yards or more in a game. Kunitomo finished the season with 39 catches for 611 yards and seven touchdowns just two touchdowns shy of the school receiving record. Now let's take a look at the upcoming games in Chapman Athletics. Men's and women's swimming and diving heads to Redlands for their dive invite on November 19th. Men's basketball plays at University of Redlands on November 19th at 2 p.m. Women's basketball takes on St. Olaf at the University of Redlands tournament at 5 p.m. on November 19th. And on November 25th, men's basketball heads to Diablo Valley College to play Whitman at 12 p.m. And you can visit www.chapmanathletics.com for scores and updates of all of your Chapman sports. Well, it looks like there are some pretty great matchups headed Chapman's way, Allie. That's right, I'm looking forward to seeing all of our athletes in their upcoming events. Remember, you can visit www.panthervisiontv.com for more episodes of Panthers in Action and other shows. Now, for Allie Friedman and all of us here at Panthers in Action, I'm Wes Rappaport. We'll see you next time. Remember, you can visit www.panthervisiontv.com.
youtube.com to, to watch more clips of Wes screwing up the outro. You gotta, it looks no, like, I gotta figure it's out. gotta be conversational. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> You're taking it forever. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, Corey.